What if you're an OEM and you actually need office for your appliance? What are the options? Let's talk about it. Over the many, many years I've supported Embedded and IoT, one of the common questions I get involves Office. And it's a strange one because Office is certainly a general purpose application. It's typically used in an office space where you're typically using spreadsheets um, or you know Word documents or presentations. So why would that be used with an appliance? Well, ironically, um, a lot of appliances uh, in many cases might need to display a bar chart or a bar graph or uh, present a, a report of some kind um, and or maybe even digital signage and you want to use PowerPoint for the digital signage to have it go through a presentation. Um, that still qualifies as a fixed purpose device. Um, and we definitely have medical customers who have devices that need to display bar charts and bar codes um, and they wanted to use office for that and in that situation where the fixed purpose appliance is making calls to office in the background it still qualifies and it's allowed it's fully allowed to run office on an iot embedded appliance so then that comes the question of well which version of office um, in today's world office is sold as a subscription with office 365 and then for a perpetual pay once and own license, it was, it's typically only available in the retail space for, called home and business. And the, a lot of, for many years, our OEMs were using home and business products with uh, some difficulties. So we, we worked with Microsoft and we said, hey, our OEM, our OEMs, we really need something to help them make it easier for office. And they came through. They came through. Um, this um, this past year, I think it was January 2023, we finally launched Office IoT Standard LTSC for IoT OEMs. So we now have one part number available for our IoT OEMs to purchase Office Standard, giving you access to all the products you see right here, be it Word, Excel, PowerPoint, Publisher, and Outlook. And you obviously, as a, an IoT OEM, don't have to install all of those. You, you know, that was another issue, too. Um, I don't want to install all of those. I just need Excel, or I just need Word, or I just need Word and Excel. You can actually, now with this product, configure it so that you only install the specific app you need. Now, you still have to buy the standard suite um, where you have the license for all of those, but you don't have to install them. And so it, it addressed some other issues. So I, I wrote a blog recently, and that's what we're looking at here in the background. I'll paste the link down uh, in the description of the video so you can go read this in detail. And, uh, and here's the part number that you can see here. So there's only one part number available. That's the part number. If you're looking for a price quote, shoot us an email. Email address is right there at Windows IoT at Arrow. We'll get you a price quote on what it costs. Um, but what are the benefits? The benefits of this product, a big one is, um, well, in comparison to home and business, let's go look at home and business real quick. So the home and business product was a perpetual one-time purchase, single license for a single PC, gets you access to Word, Excel, PowerPoint, and Outlook. And it, the problem with it was when you go to um, when you go to activate the product, you have to activate it against a email address. So um, if you'll notice, if we scroll down to the requirements here, it requires internet access. And it requires that because in order to activate the license, your unit has to be online on the internet and you have to activate it against an email address, which is just painful for an OEM. Uh, because you don't know who's going to use this. In many cases, it's an appliance. It doesn't have a user with an email address. So many of our OEMs actually created email addresses, just generic ones. They would just make up names and dates and numbers or whatever, and then include that in the box with a generic password so that a customer would know what you know the license was activated against this particular email address. And that brings up the next hurdle which is 
as an OEM, you're creating all these generic email addresses. Well, in Microsoft eyes, that kind of looks like you're a spammer or you're going out and creating all these fake email addresses. So Microsoft actually limits the number of email addresses you can create from a specific IP uh, node location on the internet to six within a 24 hour period. So if you're an OEM and you were trying to ship 20 systems, you could only create six uh, email addresses. Uh, and then you had to reach out to another office location, a different IP address and try to get them to create six more, or you had to wait 24 hours to create six more. Super painful, extremely painful. And so that was one of the things this new uh, IOT LTSC version addresses. Um, it really simplifies your life because now you just have to request a single key, just like you do for the Windows 10 IoT product, how you can get the single EPKEA key. You can get that for Office. You'll just use that key and it'll, it'll activate on its own. And not only that, you don't have to be on the internet. So if you're building devices that aren't allowed to touch the internet, you now have an Office option because you can now do offline activation with this product. So if we go back um, to my blog, um, the big thing I want to recognize in here is that I have a link to download uh, the Office LTSC 2021 installation guide. And this is an installation guide that I created to help our OEM customers understand how the process works. Um, and you can even go out and start playing around with this before you actually buy a license. Um, because in this case, the license is going to be a COA sticker. You're already going to have your key. Um, so you just need to know, um, you know, if you already have a CLA agreement and you've already experienced requesting a product key, uh, get with us. We'll give you the most updated key request form. It has office on there. Now you can go request an office key and you can start testing this out right now, especially you, if you come download my guide, which again, we'll put a link to the blog and inside the blog is the link to download the installation guide, which I'm going to show what it looks like here. Uh, let's see if we can zoom into this. Um, let me jump back to the top and uh, that's searching. Here we go. Let's blow it up a little bigger so you can see. So this is the installation guide that I created. And it's going to walk you through the five steps to actually uh, get this product working and, and uh, fully functional and show you how the process works in comparison to the home and business. Again, it's got the part number that you would order from us right there. You'll go out and request your key. Um, and then you're going to download this deployment to, tool. So you don't get you don't get the media from the software order center. Um, and we don't have the media to share with you. You actually can just go download the office deployment tool. That's where you get the actual media. And I have a link in the installation guide here. And I'll want and you know, I'm not going to go through every step here because you know, download the guide and follow it. Um, but it, it's super, super simple once you understand the process of uh, running this uh, customization tool to create an XML file that basically chooses which versions, 32-bit, 64-bit. Uh, do you just want Excel or do you want Word in Excel? You can put your key in there. It creates basically a configuration XML file that when you run the Office deployment software setup.exe, point it to that XML file, it then will follow those steps and install the product. So super making your life far more easier than before uh, using the home and business. Any other questions on Office LTSC? Get with me here at Arrow. Go check out my blog, um, link in the description, and like and subscribe to the channel. Stay tuned with the latest news on Windows IoT. Thank you guys for watching.